early in the severe weather season, and one of the things we get with storms is hail. We've heard it described as being quarter size or dime size. Well, you never want to hear hen egg size, teacup size. Channel 3's Tanisha Cordell explains what to do if hail bounces off your car. Tanisha. Well, Greg, again, I just want to mention, I just literally ran inside from outside, and I'm sure you guys can look out your window and see if you're here in the Tennessee Valley. It is pouring down. Lots of hard rainfall and lots of thunder I heard as, out there as well. No signs of hail just yet, but since there is a possibility, the one thing to keep in mind, the largest hailstone on record in Hamilton County was in Birchwood in 2006. It was the size of a baseball. Insane. Now, of course, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if it's the size of a baseball or a penny, that hailstone can cause damage to your car. Now we stopped by Red Bank Body Shop and they say this is the time of year they start to see a lot of damage to cars. That means anything from shattered or broken windshields and windows and roofs. Now we're told hail can even total a car, but we wanted to know how do you avoid that kind of damage? Try and seek shelter, maybe find a bridge. Um, you know, if the wind's blowing from the east, you might want to park to the west side of a building as close as you can to the side of the wall. Uh, protect from some of that hail. Now we're told garages and carports are the best way to protect your car from hail damage. If you don't have either, Red Bank Body Shop mechanics suggest finding a way to tie down your car mats or some type of phone onto your car. Now we're obviously not seeing any hail just, as, just yet, as I mentioned earlier, but if you spot any, be sure to safely, again, safely send us your pictures. We want to see them. You can email them to pics, P-I-X, at WRCBTV.com. For now, live in, in the studio, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.